please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, there will be no agenda adjustments and this meeting is being videotaped and we have an owl and we'll get through it. I'd like a motion to approve the minutes of the school committee meeting, the superintendent evaluation subcommittee meeting and the capital project subcommittee meeting. No. Motion by Rockland, second by uh, Whitney. Go ahead. Okay. Any discussion on the motions? None. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Reports next. Uh, Jim? Thank Treasurer? you. Chairman, um, this package was the the January 31st financial report, um, this is on page, um, $6 million in the accounts. Um, again, pretty healthy, pretty strong. Um, OPEB, $771,000. Again, that's a, um, you know, money's being added to that all the time. So we're um, uh, continuing and actually just recently, we had $50,000 in this year's budget that was just transferred over. Um, about a week ago, so they'll, that money that number will go up next next month. Um, income for the month of January again again it's not it's a very quiet month for um, revenues. We um, we received about three hundred seventy thousand chapter seventy eight. Um, we did go through and um, we build um, we do billings for February first for our district. We also um, do our March 1st, we do our uh, member town. So we'll be going on member town billings um, coming up in a, in a couple of weeks. And then again, that'll give us another influx of cash um, moving forward. So everything's going well from an income standpoint. We have expenses, again, for the month, a little over $1.1 million in spending, for which most of that percent is on payroll of $653,000. Um, there's not a lot of other um, items that are um, different from time to time. We do have on 11A the, the, the bus leases. So we do have um, our bus leases is a different year and that comes in January. So that kind of was processed. I'm in January, so that's $238,000. Um, on that, everything is, is going, running smoothly. We're doing all again, business office, especially with the payroll. Um, She's happy the budget cycle is uh, almost done, so she doesn't spend a lot of time on budget scenarios um, for the payroll. And Janine is constantly updating all of our COVID-related expenses so we can get some billing out to the, to the member towns. Uh, we did send out billing in mid-January for um, our expenses through November. Um, our expenses out to the towns as well. So it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a revolving cycle over to um, to get reimbursement from, from our member town. So um, that is the report for um, for this month. I'd like a motion uh, to approve the treasurer's report. No, uh, well. Abington, uh, it's written. Second by Whitman. Oh, has it. Any discussion on the treasurer's report? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Yep, I'll say no budget transfers. Okay. The chairman has nothing uh, for tonight. Um, now we have subcommittees. The superintendent evaluation subcommittee is recommending a successor contract for Tom. That runs from July 1, 2020 to June 30, 2026. It adjusts the base salary to $177,000 retroactive to January 1, 
This includes a 3% raise for years two through four and includes 10 vacation day buyback and rollover provisions. I'd ask for a motion uh, to approve the superintendent director. I'll make that motion with Go oh, has it. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> Seconded by everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Pick one, Jim. I got one. Okay. Any discussion on the uh, contract? Seeing none, all in favor? All right. All right. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Project subcommittee. Uh, the capital project subcommittee is recommending a debt authorization in the amount of eighteen million nine hundred sixty thousand five hundred thirty-seven dollars. There will be no vote on this at this meeting. You want to put in more background? Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, members of the committee, for your uh, your vote of support on the prior action. Uh, I want to thank the members of the Capital Projects Subcommittee for their for their diligent work as we're inching closer to taking action on a debt authorization approval at the school committee level. As uh, the chairman noted, we do have a recommended amount. We have been in the process of communicating with our sending communities uh, and the feedback has been constructive it has, uh, it has helped us clarify for each of our communities what we're trying to do. And uh, just to put a quick summary on this, we arrived at this number by looking at the projects that our engineering firm helped us develop and prioritize as part of the 2018 facilities master plan. We then took the projects, organized them, removed the ones we had already done since 2018 and projected what their costs would be if we used a 4% inflation factor going forward through fiscal 23 to use real dollars as best we can. We then backed off of the number uh, some amounts that we thought our own programs internally could handle. We estimate that almost $990,000 of electrical labor could be stripped out of this debt authorization because of work that our students and instructors could undertake over a period of years to essentially redo a lot of the wiring in the 1962 building. We've also factored into the, to this amount the estimated cost of adding about 10,000 square feet at a reduced square footage cost of $325 a square foot because once again, uh, we could have our own shops assist with the, with the building of the inside of this. So we wanna make sure that our towns understand exactly how we're prioritizing and arriving at a number. And also wanna make sure we continue these conversations that the towns know that at the end of the day, this committee has to vote a budget where each town gets one assessment number. So borrowing too much money too quickly is not something that's gonna work in an annual budget. On the other hand, not taking on any debt will really restrict our school's ability to modernize. As it, you know, we've reached the end of our smaller capital projects, <clears throat> pardon me. And we also have a responsibility to continue to ask MSBA for additional funding. So this debt authorization will allow this committee in future years, if it's approved by all eight of our towns, to essentially be able to draw upon borrowed funds as we map out a plan of how we would phase in these capital projects. Uh, I have said to many communities that I've spoken to that we would not be borrowing all this money at once and that there are definitely projects that would rise to the top of the list. And also that this decision, even though it's at a spring 2021 town meeting, uh, would, have, would not be, we would not be undertaking anything regarding borrowing until fiscal 23 at the earliest where I'm, I am suggesting that the roof project on the 1992 edition would be part of that, of that first phase. I've also said to communities that if MSBA were to uh, invite us into their core program, that we would obviously take a hard look at it. But I think, I think folks understand that we need to maintain the building. I think they uh, understand that we're arriving at this through a methodical uh, analysis. And uh, this allows us to go to our towns once 
for what we think are our priority items at this time and then be able to plan accordingly. As you've heard me say before, and I, I apologize for repeating this, but uh, the reason that we wouldn't vote on this tonight is because the minute that a regional school committee votes to authorize or incur debt, it starts a 60 day clock ticking. Our eight communities are not required to put this matter in front of town meeting. They don't have to. A decision could be made by a local community at the Board of Selectmen level to simply say, okay, this makes sense. We can just not put it on the warrant. However, we are acting as a committee to say that we wanna give all of our communities the clear and convenient opportunity to do so. Therefore, because our town meetings run from early April to late May, we don't wanna prematurely vote this debt, thus denying a town or making it inconvenient for a town to take up the matter through a, a rather inconvenient special town meeting. So what I would envision happening, uh, members of the committee, is that we would have our regular March meeting uh, on St. Patrick's Day one month from now. And then probably I would need to ask the committee to schedule a special meeting, perhaps in the last week of March, for the sole purpose of taking an official vote in this area. Thus, a 60-day clock would start ticking from that vote. But by the time we ask for that vote in late March, this information should be well disseminated and explained and very likely already communicated to our finance committees and boards of selectmen. So it will be an official vote, but probably anticlimactic. Uh, but that's where, uh, Mr. Chairman, that's where this matter stands for now. And I would see us putting it on a, a, our future agenda in March in case there are any follow-ups and then a, perhaps a special meeting in late March. Okay. Thank you. Sounds good. Any questions? Yeah. Okay. Uh, me wearing two hats. Um, I truly believe that whenever um, we are going to ask the taxpayers to reach into their pockets a little deeper, regardless of what the what it's for, they should make the decision. Right. That's why I would recommend county. That's the way I use. But that being said, I watched your your uh, finance committee meeting with Hanson, and you put together. Really, what you did tonight, right? And I'm saying, uh, in all the town meetings, you can't be at all town meetings to explain <laughs> our situation, right? That being said, is there a way that you can make a video explaining it? And then maybe at town meetings, we can put up a screen, and when that item's up, I could say uh, we, uh, our superintendent made a video to explain the situation and, and, no, and show it and explain it the way you explained it, which is just fantastic, which makes sense. Because I know a lot of people are going to say, well, we're going to give them a check for X amount of money, but they're not going to be spending it as they need it. But what happens if, if the project isn't as much as what they think it is? Are they going to, you know, does it come back? Oh, what if it's more? Right. So, I mean, those are questions that per um, we'll ask. Perfectly legitimate questions. Yeah. Right. To, to you, Mr. Chairman, to your, to your question, yes, I am, I'm, I am preparing a, a separate debt authorization uh, video presentation that we can put on our website and then make largely available. That would go <laughs> through a lot of what members of this committee have heard me pretty much, I sound like Groundhog Day. Right. Month, but, but that's fine. Um, you know, you repeating the main the main points, and then getting into the numbers a little bit. Right. Talking about, and what does an authorization mean? It doesn't mean we're borrowing the money all on day one. Well, if that's the case, then what would be your recommended phases? What would you do right. in the first, the second, the third year? Uh, those are totally legitimate questions. And uh, I, would, I would do whatever we need to do to make sure that there are resources available and that our committee members are well informed um, in the event that you're right, and we have multiple town meetings on the same night in early right. May. So and that, uh, and all, ten, all, all eight towns have to approve it, true? By invoking Chapter 71, Section 16, Paragraph D, that's the section that basically says yes. Yeah, <laughs> the exactly. other The other option is a district-wide ballot, which is not something that the, that the committee would, uh, that we would be recommending. No, so it's you, you, easy just to check off. And, and it's what we did in 2010. This exact process, right. other than other than the phased in, or the, the, the perhaps the phased in bar, we went through the exact same process with, um, it was a different statute because it was MSBA. Right. But all eight towns had to weigh in on us borrowing $3 million 
for what ultimately became a $1.2 million note for the roof on the, right. on the 62 building. If in fact, uh, we have town meetings that are earlier, right? And if in fact those town meetings turn it down, that means that the rest of the town meeting, we have one in, my, in, 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 uh, in May, we have like four towns of one thing. Correct. We're just gonna pass over that article? I would, I would, pres I would presume so. If, if one town were to say no, I would, I would probably make that recommendation because in a year's time, were we to go back to our towns and ask again, I wouldn't want the towns voting one number and then having a slightly adjusted number, but it's a fair, it's a fair question. Right, and yeah. talking to our town administrator, our new town administrator, what do you know? He just says that we take care of our school too well. And that's hurting us through MSBA. I mean, if, if we saw an issue in, in which we don't do and let it go, MSBA said, well, they need to get that fixed. Yeah, we'll approve it. But that's not the type of a school that we are. We are, you see an issue, you repair it, we have the kids to do it. It's a learning. It's a, so in a way we are kind of, I, I don't know, uh, sewing up our own pocket. One know? thing we can't stop is age. <laughs> but I think that if we made a video and if you talk to the town administrators in all eight towns, that uh, if they have the facility to be able to show it when that comes up, they'll understand it better. You do explain it a lot better than I can. Well, I would be more than happy to do anything. And I've said to our finance committees that I've met with remotely, yeah. this may be the year where if we needed more than one visit in front of a particular group, because our budget cycle and our planning process is slightly earlier right. because of our April town meeting. So sometimes our sense of urgency and energy is a little too early right. for where another town might be in terms of their budget and warrant preparation. So. Yes, right. we'll talk about I'm, I'm a little nervous in my town on it because I know we need it here, but we have three major issues. You know, we have we have a multi-million dollar uh, sewer line that needs to be repaired, right? It's the original, it's going to be three five, we have to repair that. Uh, we have a middle school project and then South Shore Cat. So those are three major, huge multi-million dollar projects that I get nervous. Yeah. So, just Understood. Let me know. Well, I was just going to echo uh, every finance committee meeting has gotten a copy that he mails out prior to with the presentation right. of this. So you can also have your finance committee, mostly, as you well know, hopefully we get the recommendation from the finance committee to approve the article. Right. And it goes through that way. But uh, also the finance committee could also have their presentation there as well. Be a lot easier than having a virtual. Yeah, but ultimately, it's 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 town meeting vote. Yeah. We'll we'll work with each community as they uh, as they uh, handle their town meetings gladly. Okay. Thank you. Moving on. Tom, superintendent's report. Yes. <laughs> One item on my report this month is just a quick update on the fiscal 22 budget process. Again, running in parallel with the debt authorization conversation. But uh, there's a certification vote later on the agenda. We have uh, had finance committee meetings with Hanson and Rockland since the last time that we met. And next week, uh, we have scheduled meetings uh, with Situates Board of Selectmen and Advisory Committee, as well as Abington's Finance Committee. And so that will uh, that that process is really running to plan. It's it's around this time of the of the budget cycle that we would be having these meetings. So I'll be able to update you on that as well. And um, that's all, Mr. Chairman, in terms of the budget update. Okay. Moving along. Ah, the budget certification. The first item for certification of the budget. I will need a motion on the certification of the proposed budget of 14 million, 678,418 with the following town assessment. Abington, 1,280,575. Cohasset, 126,594. Hanover, 882,861. Hanson, 1,228,077. Dolo, 420,000. And ninety-five dollars. 
Rockland, 1,824,264. Situate, 574,126. Whitman, 1,651,348. For a total of 7,987,941. I'll need a motion for that. No, well. Citrate. Citrate, no second. well. Second, second by Citroen. Any discussion? Uh, those numbers were different than what was on this page here. There's a. Uh... There's, there's a grant that, that, that we're receiving as part of the uh, ESSER 2 grant. Um, part of the provisions which came out recently on the, um, the governor's budget was that um, if 75% of that money should be allocated to the town, if the towns had an increase in their um, minimum contribution. So we did some revised calculations that were, um, which are on the, the papers that I handed out tonight. Which Lower some of the some of the contributions. Again, it's it's one of those um, laws that it's still being you know where there's still more information coming out about it as far as process. But um, based upon our um, our the money we're receiving through that grant, um, there's a likelihood that a lot of those assessments will go down at some point down the road when when we finalize all the numbers. Because our our, our grant is um, $217,000. Um, they're giving us a $10,000 slice of that, which is for um, health and wellness, mental health um, supplements. And then so our net grant is 207 And again, if we look to allocate that to our town, you know, 75% of that to our towns, that will um, lower down the, um, the possible assessments. And that's pretty much the last page of your um, the, the handout tonight just shows a little bit of that, um, that number. We wanted to be able to provide some information in advance as this grant program is still being, as Jim said, this grant program is still. So the recommended numbers tonight don't involve any uh, S or two funding, right. but we vote the, the, the recommendation is to vote the, the numbers as, as the chairman read. And then once the grant application is submitted and approved, then the committee can come back at a later time revisit the numbers and we all know that when you certify an assessment number you can go lower <laughs> you just can't go higher all right so basically the, the finance committee will not use these numbers we'll wait that's correct dan we would we would vote the numbers and, and part of the reason part of the reason at this point and there's a lot of questions being asked about it not not bad questions is that the provision on the provision for the 75 percent that jim mentioned was part of the governor's budget proposal, which is still subject to the legislative process. So once we get an indication that that's in fact where this is going to end up, that's, that would be, it would be in our best interest to wait until that's confirmed. But at least for now, the calculations are there to show our communities that were this program to go into effect as the governor has proposed, the relief for each community, Jim has broken that out uh, on the pages in the, in the packet. So, so the higher number is being certified to be revisited once the program is fleshed out. Yeah, we brought that up at the subcommittee and uh, you can't spend your pennies before they're given to you. Right, to follow up on what Bob just said, the, I mean, this is, our SR2 grant money is it's fixed. We know what the number is, but we still have to apply for it. We still, so it, it hasn't right. been, it's one of those cart before, before the horse types of situation. Hey, we're gonna give you this money, but you still have to go through the process of applying right. for it. Is, I think is this the same what you emailed us? Yeah. Like, because I printed it out and well, I actually, I'm not sure what I, which one I emailed you there. Because huh? even the first one that was from the last meeting was the original number that Bob just read. But um, this, this the, the assessor two grant has only been been around for like the last um, two weeks. So. Uh, I, uh, you emailed them. I made a copy of it and gave it to Frank yeah. for some yeah. numbers. Okay. Yeah. So I mean that. So theoretically. The good news is that. If, for women, which would go down by uh, thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right, you know, it's thirty thousand higher than what it's yeah. showing here. So, yeah. I'll explain that to him tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other discussion on this? 
All in favor? Aye. No. Aye. Cohasset. Aye. Hanson. Aye. Citrick. Okay. Everybody else? All set. Anybody opposed? Seeing none, the motion carries. Uh, surplus request. Motion to surplus a chainsaw. Motion. Motion by Whitman. Second by Abington. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? None. Motion carries. Warren. Uh, Warren. 14A, 15, 15A, 16, and 16A. Total one million two hundred eighty-seven thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and fifty-six cents. Motion. We made the motion. Second by Whitman. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. No. Aye. 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 All right. Anybody opposed? None. Motion carries. Any request for action at this time? Seeing none, I'll gladly entertain a motion to adjourn. Since I'm not muting myself, would you respect that motion to adjourn? <laughs> uh, Seconded. Rockland? Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Before we adjourn, I just want to give a shout out to uh, the Horticulture Department for the wonderful flowers that they sent up for uh, the event. Yeah. Um, it was a merit saver for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's now getting me in trouble. <laughs> That's very good. No, they, they were very, very nice. Yeah. Um, all in favor of uh, adjourning? Anyone opposed? I don't think so. Motion carries. We are adjourned.